Good morning everybody. Welcome here and back to my channel and welcome to another what I eat in a day. I'm being a little bit quiet because Sebastian is still sleeping so he's upstairs and I just made my coffee like you guys saw. I'm actually gonna drop it filled up my water and this is normally how I start my day. If you guys enjoy what I eat in the days or just daily vlogs, I would love to have you here on the channel. So subscribe if you are new and I will show you guys um, kind of my coffee ritual and all of that. So I'm not um, the biggest like know-it-all when it comes to coffee. I mean, I have a Keurig, so I'm not like the best. And, but I just like love making coffee. I was on a matcha kick for a really long time which i still have all the stuff for that and i love but for some reason when i think of matcha it's very like wintry so having coffee i'll show you what i use but this is where i keep all of our keurig pods and we have a couple different ones in here we have the peats and this is like the light roast it's very good um i like this on days where i want maybe like a second cup or something in the afternoon um it's good because it's not too too strong and then we have this is what i drink in the morning we're trying this one this is new to us karibu coffee oh gosh i'm probably saying that wrong but anyway really like it and it's just like a medium roast so that's what we have right now like i said we kind of like pick different ones all of the time i really want an espresso machine like that would be my goal in life to have one but sebastian is like not on the train yet so i'm still just like living my life with my keurig and it's good i like it so i have that cup of coffee in the morning and i take that upstairs with me um while i do my morning routine and my morning routine is like I journal, I do my daily devotional, I read um, my 10 pages of my book and just kind of schedule out my day so it's time for me to just like really wake up and unwind and I truly love my morning routine so much. So yeah, I have my coffee and then I have my water which I try to drink about three of these a day but it sometimes doesn't happen. I always drink two but then by the third one I'm struggling a little bit and I don't really like push myself to drink three um if i do it great if not that's okay but i like to just know at least that i'm getting two in so anyway i'm going to get my morning routine started and have that time for myself and i will catch you guys when i eat some breakfast Okay, it is about 9, 12. I just got done making breakfast for me and Sebastian. I thought I would show you um, what I make for us because we both eat different things. Um, I don't know why. We just kind of eat different things. And so anyway, I thought I would show you what I made for Sebastian. So I just scrambled him a couple of eggs and a couple pieces of bacon, which uh, this was not my best bacon day. Thankfully, he likes crispy bacon, but this is very crispy. And then I just made him um, a peanut butter banana piece of toast. So that's what he has for breakfast. The toast that we love to use is this uh, Dave's Killer Bread and the 21 whole grain and seeds. And then for his peanut butter toast, um, this is our favorite peanut butter. The RX Nut Butter, I've showed this before in little packets, but we also buy the jar. Very expensive, um, but so, so worth it. So that's all that's in it, and it's so yummy. Oh, it's so good. So we love that. And then I put some honey on there as well as some chia seed. So that is his breakfast. And this is my breakfast. I just have some yogurt and granola with strawberries and chia seeds. And then a piece of toast with butter and jam. And normally I really... Can we also... What is this? I feel like it might be a bug bite. And I'm just hoping it's not a breakout. But I'm like, really? On my lip? Ugh. Anyway, I apologize. You guys have to stare at that. But I will put on makeup later today at some point. But um, as I was saying, I usually love eggs for breakfast if you've watched my what i eat in a days before i love eggs for breakfast but for some reason the last like couple days eggs have just not been sounding good to me i do not know why but it just like makes my tummy like turn so and normally i'm a very like savory person for breakfast like i love eggs and potatoes and hash browns and bagels and all of that and i very rarely will eat like sweet stuff but 
for the last couple days, I've just been really wanting sweets. So that's what I'm having. And um, so yeah, I just have that. I thought I'd show you what I put into my yogurt. So I use the same bread for Sebastian. And then I love the Chibani Greek yogurt. And this is just the plain one. And it's so good. I love it because like, I like plain because I don't want it to be too sweet. And if I do want it to be sweet, I can add it myself. So I add um, a little bit of honey, the strawberries like I mentioned, and then normally I like to have the Purely Elizabeth granola. It's so good, but I was at Winco when I got this and they didn't have it. So I just picked up this bare naked granola, the vanilla almond, and it's really good. And then I use a little bit of these chia seeds. So that's what I do for breakfast and I'm gonna eat this, clean up the kitchen afterwards, and then um, I'll be back upstairs in my office. A little bit later i told you at some point i was gonna get ready so i'm happy to report that i'm all ready for the day it's like 12 15 almost and i came downstairs to get a tiny little snack while i continue working um me and Sebastian are pretty much like late eaters you guys will notice like we will snack throughout the day right now i'm not really too hungry i did have a cheese stick probably like 40 minutes ago but i ran down here super fast to get it and i forgot to film it so i had cheese um but we're pretty late eaters you'll see like dinner's pretty late lunch is later in the day so i don't know not really like needing too much but to get me through some of my work i wanted to have a little snack so my sister actually told us about these like fig bars oh sorry these nature bakery um fig bars at costco so this one is just like original there's a blueberry and a raspberry and already my favorite is the raspberry i'm gonna have one of these sometimes i have like for a snack um i'll do like veggies and ranch or what else do i do like a protein bar or something like this. Um, so these have been my new fave and I really love it. Sometimes I'll do like chips and salsa. We have hummus back there. Um, there's lots of different things for snacks. We have like grapes and cherries. So I do, even though we eat like later, I do come down here often to like get little snacks. So I'm just gonna take my little bar. I think that will be perfect for me. And then I'm still only at my first water bottle. So I'm not doing too great today, which is not the best, but um, hopefully I can finish that up with my little snack. And then I will hopefully come down and we'll make some lunch. We just have leftovers, which I'm excited to share because they're actually a really, really good recipe. Um, so we'll have that for lunch and then, um, yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. It is 1.30 now, I came down here because my rice is done for our lunch and I should have had a snack that was a little bit bigger than that little bar because I'm hangry. <laughs> I'm hangry and I need a break. I don't know, I just could feel myself shutting down. So anyway, this is how I make my rice. I make it in our Instant Pot. And if you don't have an Instant Pot, it's so nice. You just fill it up, do as much rice, I guess not fill it up, but do like as much rice as you need for your family and you hit the rice button and it's done in like 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, I just almost opened it. This is the worst part. Okay, so as I was saying, now that you've like let out the steam, oh baby, um, it comes out perfect every single time and then I just fluff it up and if you wanted to make it like sticky, um, you just like rinse it a couple times because like it doesn't really make it sticky sticky, but it's pretty good. So made a little bit of rice and then those are our leftovers. Like I said, I like to put our meal calendar here and we've been doing really, really well. So last night I made cream of mushroom chicken and rice and when quarantine was going on, we got like so many like cans of soup and stuff like that. And my mom got us a bunch of the cream of mushroom cause you can make so many things with it. Um, so I decided that we really need to start using that stuff up. So I've been trying to like incorporate it every week or so. So I made a really yummy recipe last night. It was really good. So I'll leave it down below if you want it. It's from All Recipes and I love that site. So I'm going to heat up the little sauce and like the chicken stuff there and then um, that will be our lunch. And if you didn't notice, we're kind of going to switch around our schedule because Wednesday we have plans with some friends. But tonight we're going to make homemade pizza and I'm so excited. So that'll be fun to share with you guys. So I'm going to heat up the lunch and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Okay, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look appetizing but i feel like all the good foods are like beige <laughs> so i just have rice down under there and then this is like the cream of mushroom um, soup mixture and then i cut up like 
fresh mushrooms in there and we grilled up chicken and onions and I put little peas in there so you could put any vegetables that you like. Um, Sorry, I'll pause it. <laughs> Sebastian's watching American Ninja Warrior for like the 19th day in a row. But, and then I also um, just cut up some veggies for us to snack on the side just because I feel like it's nice to go between a couple things. And then I have my LaCroix, which I always drink one of these like throughout the day at some point. And so for lunch, it's fun to have it and feel like I'm drinking something a little bit special. But I still have my water on the side. And so yeah, this is going to be lunch. Again, I'll have it linked down below because it doesn't look good, but it's so yummy. Don't you think it's good? It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. We're here at the park. Ooh, perfect timing. Sebastian's snacking on some <laughs> cherries that my mom got us. And then we brought another. <laughs> These are so good. We brought another one that's blueberry. Who knows if we'll eat it right before dinner, but we haven't made dinner yet. It's kind of late actually. Like I said, we make dinner super late, but that's just what works for us. So we're here at the park and- Look at all this volleyball nuts. I know, Sebastian really wants to. I'm hoping for another miracle for you. Mm -hmm. That this might happen again. They might My ask you. Really hurts. Yeah, you might have to sit this one out. Yeah. But a big open park. We got our books. Our snacks, mm. our Uno, will be here for the next little bit. We are back home, ready to get pizza started. We got this like dough um, from our local grocery store, just Winco, and so we're gonna roll this out. And then I just picked up this pizza sauce. We kind of just wanted to go pretty easy, so I've never tried this one. We'll have to see how we like it. Me and Sebastian are huge pineapple um, on your pizza fans, so. We got some pineapple. We have our, I'm just gonna do this ham, but I'm gonna like slice it up really nicely. And then our mozzarella. So, you wanna get to rolling? Sebastian had the genius idea to do stuffed crust. Tell him about my experience with pizzas. His first job was actually at Papa Murphy's. So he used to do this for a living, baby. So I have an expert on my hands. Oh, don't laugh at me. Let's see. Look at this. I almost had a fail with that crushed pineapple, but it actually worked out very well. So we're gonna pop this baby in, and we also decided to add red onions and red chili flakes. Sebastian's probably gonna we do jalapenos. <laughs> They're right there in the back. Oh, um, <laughs> he's gonna add jalapenos to his side and that will be dinner. I already took a bite, but it's so delicious. It turned out so great and it was actually so fun. So we're gonna watch Holes, eat our pizza, and have ourselves a chill Tuesday night. Look at my pizza, man.